Hello, Gravy Timmy. Have you done your homework? Have you been a good boy? No? It sounds about right. Hello, dear viewer, and welcome back to the Icefire Productions channel, where we like to play a little game called Hearts of Iron 4. Not sure if you've heard about it. Alright, sometimes I like to go ahead and do some wacky challenges. A little bit of wacky fun. A little bit of self-imposed slap in the face. And this one, of course, little Timothy, will be no different at all. It's going to be a doozy. And of course, by doozy, I mean help, help, help. So much like the challenge we have done before where we don't do any research this is kind of on a similar vein you see if you ain't too sure how Hearts of Iron 4 works and its technology usually things are put into tiers so we have the tier 1 of guns tier 2 tier 3 same with mechanized down here we got the level 1 version level 2 and level 3 and uh, not too surprising uh, the level 2 and 3 versions tend to be a lot better than the starting one which does tend to be very good uh, to which is none more apparent than the air and the tank systems now you can get away with the first few tiers of the tanks at the start of the wars but the first few tiers of the planes Oh, they're not very good. So, in this self-imposed limitation, what we're going to be focusing on today is only using the tier 1 of all this equipment. All of this would be interwar equipment, which is a little bit redundant at the start of the game, but still possible. But anywhere past the middle of the game and the early parts of the game, they're not going to do very well. So, yeah... I'm not too sure what I'm going to do here, but the first thing we need to do is go to our equipment and we're just going to have to delete a lot of this. Uh, we're also going with the same rule on the Navy, so all of these beautiful level 2 ships, <laughs> we're going to have to rethink those. Uh, now, for our coastal defense battleship, I guess technically it's its, its own tech, so we're going we're gonna to use it. Um, but I don't think we're gonna use it. They're not very good. Alright, now we need to go ahead and start producing stuff we can actually use. Um, which means this gun, uh, that is not going to be good enough for us anymore. Uh, so just on the look of things right here, we have the, uh, the basic infantry equipment, which is the starting gun, which has these wonderful stats. And then we have the upgraded version, which has... A little bit better stats. But I guess the trade-off we're going to be going for here is that technically we're going to be able to build quite a few more of them. Which, uh, it, again, very good at the start of the game. But as, as things start ramping up, yeah, you're going to be able to feel your guns not being very good. Okay, the most difficult part, I think, about all of this challenge is definitely going to be the plane situation. In fact, I think we're going to have to mostly do our medium chassis for these planes uh, to really get any think done. Okay, so the real fun of the challenge here is gonna be pretty much trying to deck out these older <laughs> tanks and planes with the best upgrades we can. Now, as you know with the new updates, uh, the airs now have a designer, so we can design our interwar planes uh, with new stuff. I'm not gonna put a rule on that, of course, because uh, I do want to win this game. Uh, so it's gonna be pretty funny to see what we can <laughs> put onto this out-of-date piece of garbage. This is this is just, it's just gonna be so damn painful. It's actually hurting me just to decommission all of these wonderful designs. Okay, another challenging part is for this to realistically work, we're gonna have to knock the allies out as soon as possible, which means we're gonna have to get naval supremacy which means we're going to have to still build some boats oh we don't we don't even start with any like level one uh stuff upgraded here do we have anything in outdated uh we will bring back the pre-dreadnought <laughs> oh yeah that sure is a, a beautiful specimen right there we got one <laughs> gun <laughs> to AA we do have some fire control on it though and a secondary <laughs> when we get that level 2 engine on this thing all right definitely where we're gonna be best off is with the medium tank uh, the medium tanks gonna be fine I am gonna allow myself to uh, obviously go to the second level here but we won't be producing any of this equipment of course and I won't even research past uh, this one right here just so we can get the medium cannon one to actually have a gun for our tank though so we are making a lot of guns. It's going to be very
very handy for a <laughs> amazing new tactic we found out called human wave tactic. So this plane will carry us through the war. I am going to upgrade these to uh, heavy machine guns when we get the tech, but I just want to get some planes out while we can. And I also need to remember to go delete all my old planes as well, actually. But yeah, this is not pretty. Okay, speed's not that great, and we have three engine twos. <laughs> Agility 15. <laughs> so we're going to have to really pump up our air attack and air defense, which shouldn't be too bad once we get a few more upgrades and a better engine. But there, there she blows for now until we get those heavy machine guns. But these are... Uh, <laughs> these... <laughs> these... Six a year. What to save us some bacon here? We're gonna early war the Dutch. Uh, I haven't pulled this shrine out in a while, but we're gonna have to use it this time. So if you're wondering why I'm invading the Dutch, it's pretty simple. I need rubber, and they've got a colony that's got a lot of rubber. Other than having to produce my own rubber or import all of their rubber for my delicious factories, I'm gonna go ahead and just kill them and take the rubber. Yeah, it's uh, surprisingly very easy. Oh, so I don't know if this is a new peace conference thing, but I actually get them in the the full peace conference now so i could just go ahead and take the land but i don't know if that's gonna be better or worse for us hmm. yeah i think i'm just gonna go ahead and puppet them that way that uh when we do go to war i won't lose all my convoys from importing all the stuff over there and i can keep them out of the war but it does mean that japan will declare war on us in the future so that's something fun yeah so that's you down we also took their navy and i was gonna say i probably shouldn't use this but then i just realized uh yeah it's all level one stuff anyway except for a couple of submarines so i don't think it really matters plus it'll make it uh, a little bit easier for us to take out the UK later. This also means now that I can import, oh, I can import a lot of rubber for one civilian factory. That'll do us nicely. Well, just when I finally got up to pretty good production there on the planes, we're now going to have to go ahead and change them as I've got heavy machine guns. All right, yeah, they are a lot better now, though. That is a plus 16 air attack right there. We will take that, but plus 16. By the way, we're having that to the end of the game unless we strap cannons onto these things, which is just, they're really so expensive. Uh, I'm also just going to go ahead and convert whatever I built so far as well, so everything's standardized. Now look at me talking about standardizing production over here. I'm just not fulfilling my German World War II LARP at all, am I? Not too sure how I managed that, but uh, <laughs> put Romania in a civil war. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've never, ever seen that before in this game. Uh, but yeah... Romanian Civil War, I guess. I guess it's kind of weird, uh, but this was just the normal Romania, and the other one that popped out of them was the Civil War <laughs> without the focus truce, I guess. This is still fine. They might still flip to uh, the axe. It's, uh, but I already did integrate war economies, thinking that the one that popped out of them was the uh, <laughs> the actual Romania. But uh, yeah, whatever. Okay. Just, I'm just, I'm just going to pretend that never happened. Just to like, confuse the enemy, I have a great idea. We're going to take Take one of our glorious new pre-dreadnought battleships, and we're just gonna we're just gonna rename one quickly. Go ahead and call it the Bismarck, but we'll put quotations around it. You know. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, we'll put it as the pride of our fleet too, and then uh, I'm sure we will scare the British into submission with this one. We're not going to use the uh, interwar medium frame for the cash, just because it's so expensive, and we're going to have to well, look, look at my factories right now, look how much we need on it just to get like a good amount of them being pumped out. Uh, so instead, we're just going to pump out like some terrible crappy cash in hopes that like it's enough, <laughs> but it's probably not going to be, I can't even put the anti tank gun on it. We're gonna need some bigger engines. Yeah, this thing sucks, okay? If we get into a single battle, these things just are gonna get shot down. So we need to make sure that their planes are gone before these things even get over there. <laughs> so we're pretty much ready for the war now. Uh, I'm gonna delay just by one focus and get Slovenia, uh, just so I can get a couple more casts out, considering we have. 13 right now. We're going in after the mighty conquest of Slovenia. <laughs> it's time. The plan is pretty simple. We need to immediately knock out Poland and then also immediately knock out the Allies. Is it possible? I hope so, because then as soon as we've knocked out the Allies and got the peace conference, if that's how this is going to go down, I really hope it is, we're then going to march into the Soviet Union and take them out immediately too. I'm already working on the collabs, and I have a full collab on the UK right now, so... It's got to happen this way or it's not happening. Surely nothing could go wrong. 
<laughs> big thing I'm worried about is not getting supremacy over to the UK, but I think we'll be fine. I've been producing a whole bunch of uh, little crappy ships, and they are so cheap that I just pump them out like nothing. So we should be fine. Combined with the Dutch fleet we've stolen, our starting fleet here, we should be good, right? We don't have any tanks yet, but uh, I'm not too worried about that. I think we'll wait until we've uh, finished off the Allies, and then we will get to work on the tanks for the Soviets. News is, though, the, those heavy fighters will be doing the work for a long time, hopefully. Uh, yeah, we are absolutely demolishing the AI. Okay, I really wish I could accept all this equipment, but uh, no, <laughs> I've got, I've got to produce. <laughs> Good <laughs> word, 98. Uh, you see, guys, I'm a bit of a uh, technological hipster. <laughs> I like that retro shizzle. Is that uh, modern medicine? I don't think so. Get me in the iron lung, baby. All right, phew, Poland down. We're not even going to bother doing Molotov Ribbentrop because I don't plan for us to be sticking around that long. And now we're going to go for the UK first and then France. Okay, they are immediately ruining my life convoy rating right now. And I cannot afford that. I am going to need those convoys. So we're going to stop and Importing rubber for the meantime. We can get ourselves naval supremacy. I did have to put my planes up over it, but that is no problem at all. And now it's the Hail Mary of the game. Of course, uh, immediately got caught, and now the great <laughs> the great fleet is out there. <laughs> It's not very good. <laughs> Actually gonna have to send them out. No. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Maybe we can still get this. Uh, if we get lucky with them not getting in here, we should be fine, I think. They got in. Okay, yeah, that was not happening. Uh, <laughs> you boys, uh, we're gonna have to give that another shot. Don't worry, boys. <laughs> Reinforcements on the way. Uh, I was too busy uh, looking at this, and I didn't realize that we managed uh, to actually land over here properly, but I've just <laughs> yeeted the army over and we're going in. Uh, yeah, also the navy, uh, it didn't do too well. It didn't do too well at all, but we've kind of sacrificed it <laughs> to get what we needed to do. Oh my god, that's so bad. Uh, yeah, if this invasion fails now, that is, uh, GG for the plan we have. Probably really should have just gone for the, uh, the paratroopers since we had the full collab on them, but, uh, yeah, that was the UK down. A little bit scuffed because the navy now longer, um, doesn't exist, but yeah, I, I wasn't planning on it existing anyway for the most part. Really turn them into. Uh, should we do that? No, I don't think we'll do that. E no, we'll, we'll be fine. We're just rushing back over into France. I'm actually gonna make sure to garrison this because, uh, yeah, if we lose this, we aren't getting back. Uh, arrived back in Europe in time for the British to try and naval invade the Netherlands. <laughs> okay, interesting. The moment of truth. Can we now also take out the French? You see what I mean? You see. What I mean, the ocean could dry up and the British AI will still find a way to naval invade in this game. No problem at all. It's actually glorious seeing how much cast damage we're doing just because we are blowing up their planes completely with these heavy fighters. I really hope they're gonna keep us going with the Soviets, so. Right, okay, phase one of the plan has been completed. Ethiopia in this. Why, okay, I'm taking Ethiopia from the Italians. Ain't doing anything too fancy here at all. I've just gone ahead and puppeted Canada, though, and the, uh, the Indians just in case we do go to war with the Japanese, which is probably going to happen. And of course, I'm also not going to take any of the navies because I really want to, but I just... Uh... All right, there we go, though. But we, we are going to have to deal with Soviets immediately, so no time for peace. All right, so for my tank, I am just going to go uh, just dump armor into it. We can't get too much shaft attack because we're only going to have this uh, medium cannon one. Uh, we could get it up a little bit more, but uh, I'm not really going to worry too much. I think armor is just going to be way more important. And, and don't look at the reliability, okay? It's not my finest hour, nor is the speed, okay? Let's just, let's just commit here. Kind of sad that uh, my navy is gone. Uh, so we must bring it back stronger. <laughs> bring it a few more dreadnoughts will do it, I think. Oh, sorry, I said, I said dreadnought. In fact, uh, it's a pre-dreadnought. <laughs> <laughs> the thing the Dreadnought made obsolete. Oh, this thing sucks so bad. I, I can't even put more than one gun on it. But I guess it's like an AA platform. 
That's all it can really do. I just realized it gave them the, the names automatically because they're technically battleships. So yeah, there is the Tirpitz and the Bismarck in all their glory. Did just get engines free though. So I am going to make a upgrade on my plane, which will probably be the last upgrade we will ever do on it. And uh, yeah, that's going to, that's going to, oh yeah. Okay. Well, it, it, it's needed. Okay. Looking for all my capital ships is actually depressing. <laughs> all they did <laughs> was blow up one bridge. British destroyer and they've all got like a kill assist on it. I mean, it's actually two, all right? They got the Valorous and the Volunteer, both dreadnoughts, okay? So they did something before a lot of them were sh <laughs> sunk to the bottom of the ocean. Don't worry, we'll bring you back stronger with even more battleships. Uh, we just, we're not going to tell them that the battleships were also uh, you know, from the 1800s. Right, so I've just been going from my equipment and seeing like all the crap we got from the Allies. I'm just trying to jump around so I don't accidentally use any of it. But uh, for stuff like guns, there's not really much we can do about that. Um, not doesn't matter as, as long as the majority of the guns, okay, are from the 1800s, okay? Uh, but yeah, until I finish up this artillery shortage, uh, well then, whenever that is done, we are going to go to war with the German the Germans? We are the Germans. We're gonna shoot ourselves! Uh, no, we're gonna go to war with the Soviets. I also am just finishing my last collab on them to make this a little bit easier. Uh, okay, and here come the Japanese too. Uh-oh. Uh, can I annex these guys beforehand? I might be able to. I most certainly can. I think that means they can't declare war on us because we do have our guarantees on each other. Hopefully, maybe. We don't have a non-aggression pact though. We'll figure it out, I guess. <laughs> we have wasted enough time. Uh, we are going in on the Soviets and <laughs> uh, I'm hoping it goes well. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, you know what? Uh, we'll, we'll could deal with that when we've built our fleet, okay? Just go ahead and just start calling my allies in, okay? They'll get started on it immediately. I won't even have to go over there because Japan's gonna be dead already. We've been, uh... Putting this off for too long, I think. <laughs> yeah, you see, what you're seeing here is a lot of red. Now, we are still moving some places, uh, but it ain't too pretty. I think what we're gonna do, because I think the big problem right now is that their air force is still a thing. So we're gonna try... Oh, those numbers are not as pretty as they were before. Okay, yeah, yeah. we're gonna whittle down their air force, and then maybe I'll do a bit of micro with the tanks for now, and then uh, we'll come back to the, the full push. Tanks are pretty good. The only bad thing I have is ma the majority of my army, okay? It's just the infantry is absolutely garbage without any upgrades. All right, there we go. That is a very nice pocket. How is the air battle going? They have left. Okay, nice. I don't know where their air force is then. Oh, they're down here in uh, Romania. Oh, uh, you know what? Not my problem. <laughs> I, um, I just caught myself quite the catch over here. Yeah, that is a lot. And I mean a lot of Soviet troops just stuck in Romania. The Swiss just joined Japan's faction. <laughs> I guess you win some, you lose some, realistically. Anyway, the casualties, oh, they ain't looking too good for us. But uh, we'll see what happens once we get all these guys. So they're at 1.5 million right now. And after that, that'll... <laughs> Uh, well, uh, that was almost a million guys in there, so, uh, yeah, very nice. Getting convoy raided by Japanese submarines <laughs> right here. Okay, that's a little cheeky. I'm to send out the high seas fleet to go deal with them. And yes, I did, in fact, build some aircraft carriers. Yeah, I'm, sh I'm not even going to bother with the Swiss. That's just going to be a problem for another day. Okay, yeah, now that their air forces are, well, pretty much being eliminated for the most part... Uh, uh, yeah, okay, we're doing a lot more damage, a lot more. Uh, yeah, it might also be something to do with, like, the one, <laughs> the one million manpower we, uh, <laughs> got in that pocket over there. It's definitely thinned out the lines. Yeah, that was absolutely a devastating blow for them, I think, because, uh, yeah, they are collapsing.
collapsing very fast. Okay, well, uh, those collabs definitely did their job. <laughs> Soviet's gone. All right, there we go, which means, unfortunately, I now have to go deal with Japan. That's going to be real fun. So I have been building up the Navy. Uh, we've got quite a few ships here, mostly pre-dreadnoughts and some converted battleship hulls for our uh, carriers, but they should still work fine, and I think... We're going to be able to get something done with the Japanese here, especially if the Americans are already getting to work on them. I'm not even going to bother going to go fight over here. Uh, we're just going to go straight for the mainland and get the army over in India so we can start hopping over. Catch that. Never mind. Turkey just joined the co-prosperity sphere! Well, it looks like my allies kind of got it sorted, and uh, they haven't even uh, got me in the war. Uh, so... Uh, I'm just going to ignore it, I guess, and go back to the original plan. <laughs> I would really like to know <laughs> what the Turkish fleet was doing over here. I guess they joined the war, but, uh, oh, <laughs> a little bit too late for them, I guess. I mean, our fleet's actually doing quite a lot of work here. I don't know what the Japanese fleet's like, but, uh, you know, it's still huge. Um, I just don't think they've got it completely out, so we're just picking off all the little ships they have just kind of around. Probably go ahead and, uh, like, actually uh, build some Amtraks or Marines to make this less painful for us. But, uh, nope, we're just going to brute force it with our terrible infantry. All right. This technically counts as being allowed in the rules, right? Ooh, yeah, we're at the point where our planes, uh... They, they don't do too well. Well, it looks like the Americans are stealing all the glory for themselves, so I'm just going to... Uh, I win. Yep, that'll do it. And uh, I I have no points, as usual, in the, the Pacific War. Well done, me. I guess we got our lost German colonies back and American Japan with a little bit of Germany. All right, well, I think that is it for the challenge. From 1945, we could go roll over America at this point just by our sheer industrial capacity, but I don't think we really need to prove that, do we? Uh, but yeah, uh, we did it. We, we managed to pull through with our absolutely atrocious equipment. It, I gotta say, it sucked very much towards the end. Uh, but yeah, our plane specifically like they did not match up at all what was the agility at the very end uh 15 and if i upgraded to cannons that would <laughs> okay yeah uh i couldn't even upgrade the cannons because <laughs> Agility just wouldn't exist anymore. <laughs> why, did, why did China take this? What did they mean? Hey, but if you enjoyed this stupid little challenge, feel free to leave a like and subscribe button down below for more stupid hoi for funny stupid challenge whatever. Blah, blah, blah. You know the drill. Goodbye.